What's up, Bo doers? Nathan here again. I'm here because Stuffy Wood has a problem, but it's a good problem. We want to give our customers an even better level of service beyond the classic model of selling. So what does that require and how do we get there? After sales features, as the name suggests, are services that can be done after a sale goes through. Things like refunds, returns, and some repairs are common examples of after sales features. Here at Stealthy Wood, a good number of help desk tickets we get are from customers who need these after sales features. Thankfully, help desk is integrated with the rest of the database and with some configuration, we can easily perform all of these services all from the ticket form. Because I offer these after sales features, I can better satisfy my customers' needs. So let's dive into Odoo and learn how to configure after sales features on a help desk team. In the Help Desk app, we'll navigate to the Help Desk Team settings by clicking on Configuration at the top and then Help Desk Teams. From here, we just have to click on a specific team that we want to enable after sales features for. And in this case, we're going to use our customer care team. So from here, if we scroll all the way to the bottom, we can see that Odoo allows us to enable five unique after sales features, first being refunds, which will issue a credit note to the customer for either a full or partial amount of their order. Second, we have coupons, which will generate a coupon code so customers can get a discount or a free product with their next order. Third, we have returns, which will log a warehouse transfer in Odoo and generate a return label so the customer can return any faulty or damaged products. Fourth, we have repairs, which will create a repair order. And last but not least, we have the field service option, which will open a new task in the Odoo field service project to plan and track on-site interventions. Clicking on the project field here, I can create an additional project board for tasks created from help desk tickets by just typing in a name and then selecting create. However, from the resulting drop down menu, we're just going to select the field service project for now. And as you can see, I've already enabled all five of these so we can check out what these after sales features look like on the ticket form. Since all of these settings are specifically for my customer care team, I'll navigate to the customer care team pipeline by scrolling to the top of this page and selecting the tickets smart button. I can of course also access the pipeline from the help desk dashboard and just clicking on the customer care card. Then I'll click on the ticket I received about a damaged chair from the Jackson group. And when I click on this card, and because I enabled the after sales features, I have some fun buttons we can work with here at the top of the ticket. All the buttons are pretty self-explanatory, like if I want a refund, I would click on refund and so on. You can also convert these opportunities or tickets to an opportunity, I should say, by clicking on the convert to opportunity button. This isn't really an after sales service, but it is a super easy hack that lets me turn tickets into opportunities in the CRM app. You can also learn more about this in our help desk tickets training, which I'll make sure to link down below. But since this customer is pretty clear about wanting a refund, let's take care of that for them by simply clicking on refund. Now on the refund pop-up, Odoo has auto-populated some information for me in the sales order field, for example. We have the most recent SO for this customer where the invoice has been created. This can be a regular invoice or a partial invoice for a down payment. The associated invoice is populated as well in the invoices to refund field. If we click into that, we only have one invoice, but multiple can be selected if needed. Once I confirm that all this information is correct, I have two options. We have reverse and reverse and create invoice. Reverse creates a credit note in a draft state that can be edited before it's posted. This option can be used to provide a partial refund. Reverse and create invoice creates a credit note that is automatically posted as well as an invoice in the draft state. I don't need a new invoice for this, so I'm just gonna click on reverse for now. And on the credit note, once I see all the information is correct, we'll just hit confirm. Hopefully the customer is happy with that refund. But let's go back to the tickets by clicking on the breadcrumbs here. And to make it up to the customer for receiving a damaged product, let's give them something nice like a coupon. So we'll tick the coupon button here. And from here, a generate coupon pop-up window appears and we'll just keep this at the 10% discount for now. And we're gonna leave the valid until field blank 
so this coupon doesn't expire. Then all we have to do is click the send by email. And this is how it's going to look when the customer receives the message. It looks good to me, so we're just going to go ahead and click on send. Hopefully that earns us some goodwill. Now, since we already issued a refund, we should probably try to get that damaged merchandise back. So let's click on return. And this will be just as easy as the refund. The item in question is an office chair, which auto populates in the return pop-up window. So all we have to do is update this quantity to one to indicate that we're receiving one, and then click on return to create a new transfer form. Everything looks good. So let's go ahead and just click validate here in the top left. And awesome. In just a few minutes, the customer got their money back and we're getting our product back. It's a win-win if you ask me. Okay, so the customer is all taken care of, but what do we do with that broken product coming back that needs to be looked at? So let's return to the damaged chair ticket via the breadcrumbs, of course. And now we're gonna click on repair. From here, let's make sure that my warehouse team is ready to go with this item and so it makes it back to us completely. I can see that the return is populated, but let's go ahead and make sure that the right product is selected. And that's gonna be our office chair. Now, I don't know what's exactly wrong with this chair, so I'll leave the parts tab blank. But let's check out the repair notes section here. And great. The information from the customer ticket is right here. So my repair team will have access to it when they need it. So we'll just scroll back up and click on confirm repair. And then we'll hit confirm again. Okay, now that the broken chair is handled, let's check out the last after sales service, field service. So we're going to go ahead and click on tickets at the top, select my tickets, and we're going to select this kitchen collapsing ticket right here. And this looks like an issue that will require some assistance. The button to create a field service task is labeled plan intervention. When we click that, this will create a task in my field service project. And on the create a field service task pop up, the information from the ticket like the title and customer carries over. So once I confirm that the project and worksheet template are the ones I want, I can go ahead and click on create task. And this will go right over to my field service team for scheduling. The field service project board helps me manage on-site interventions using tasks when I create the task. I can then access it at any time with the task smart button here at the top. Even if I don't normally have user access rights to the field service application, and I do love a good workaround, don't you? Today we saw how easy it is to perform after sales services for a help desk team. Thanks to help desk integration with other apps, I can assist my customers in so many different ways. Be sure to check out our other Odoo tutorials for a deep dive into all things help desk. And remember folks, it's Odoo and not Odon't.